All right, welcome back to Meteorology 101. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to set up my vehicle for storm chasing, so I don't know how much I'm going to get out there this year. I don't have a lot of vacation time, but we are going to get set up and maybe do a test run. So hang tight. All right, I already have my tablet mount. I have a second screen mount. So we're going to plug this in, get this set up. There's a microphone. I don't really have a place for that yet, so I'm just trying to keep it down on the console. The ham radio, so I can track the storms and be in contact with uh, other storm chasers. I'm gonna get in on the other side. Probably be a little easier from this this side. So I have a 10 inch uh, screen. I'm gonna set up. That's an extension from my tablet. All right, I have the uh, Explorer tablet with a keyboard. Pull my cup holder holder out on this Subaru so I can uh, actually put my keyboard on that. Let me get this. This tablet holder is not made for this tablet. It does the job. First thing I gotta do is take off the uh, second battery. It makes this tablet too thick for that mount. This GPS, I don't need this thing. I'm gonna try to use that to prop this keyboard up a little bit better. Alright. I'm gonna turn that on. Get that fired up. I have a multiple uh cigarette lighter outlet so I do have a dash cam in my rear view mirror you probably can't see that but I don't use it for this purpose I'm going to unplug that I have a car charger for the tablet Alright, I have a video out, HDMI, and my microphone. And pull that back off. This thing sits up here pretty solid, so I don't have to worry about it falling off all down the road. I do need to get a bigger tablet mount, though, because that one's just, uh, it's made for an iPad or something. It's not as stable as I like. Right, let's see 
get this tangled mess out of here. Got my mouse. Got a USB uh, adapter, one out, four to four out. So I got. So I can hook up everything I need to hook up to USB. There's the mouse. Right, I do have a SIM card we can connect to the internet. So I can download my radar data. I also have a GPS for my radar. So wherever I am on the map, I am live on the radar. Need to get my HDMI hooked up to the additional monitor and a little power cable. Got a camera mount. I'm going to eventually install for that camera I'm recording on right now. That's going to be my dash cam. So we've got one more cigarette lighter out. I'm using two out of the three to plug my dash cam in for my rear view. Then I'm using all three, so I may have to pick up another one of these. Maybe hardwire something into the car. And I gotta have the key on to have power to the to the uh, cigarette lighter. As soon as I do that, I can turn this monitor on. Okay, put this battery away. And plug in the microphone. Hear a lot of clicking, digging going on there. Something's connecting, so. On the other side. All right. I don't know what I'm losing. I guess I'm losing on my keyboard. It's kicking in and out. That's what I'm, that's what I keep hearing. So, do I have my mouse? Yeah. Need to come up with a better solution for this. All right, now we got power to the second display. Right, window security, let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. All right, so we can pull up from these screens. I have the OBS software on that screen over there so I can see what you guys are seeing and I can control both monitors from the keyboard so I can just switch between scenes as I'm driving I know that's not the safest thing to do but no uh, different than changing the station on your radio just have to hit control and then whatever designated letter I have for whichever scene that I want to show you guys so this is for the weather charts I can start downloading this data we also have radar so I'm gonna go I got control R for radar there's the radar screen Okay, 
so I'm going to start recording on this OBS software. All right. All right, right now we're looking at the radar on the OBS software. We're, that's what we see on our screen. I can always change your screen to a different, different scene. So if we want to look at the weather charts, that's the latest surface chart, high pressure ridging in over the eastern U.S. and uh, got southerly flow pushing into Texas, Louisiana. So any warm air vection, warm moist air being pumped into Texas, the uh, dry line. If we look for that dry line, we see a dew point of 57, 41, 69, 65. So that dry line looks like it's pretty far to the west right now. But if that starts pushing to the east, this ridge starts to weaken, allow that little bit of a low pressure system. This chart is indicating in Mexico to push east into Texas. Then you can get the instability and the lift you need to create those thunderstorms in Texas right there. So it's always something to look for this time of year with the semi-permanent high pressure system. So um, let's get back to this video. We'll pull up the national radar. So now we can go to the south. We can go over to the east coast. We can see what's going on in those areas. And I can just hit my control buttons and go to bring you to the scene you need to see. Trying to get to the latest uh, loop. Sometimes it takes a little data to download this stuff. I got a SIM card right now I'm using, so it does process pretty kind of slow sometimes all right here we go so we can pretty much anywhere there's significant weather we can go to that radar and we can pull up the uh, storm systems and then with this software I can actually do a cross section on these storms you see that one's pretty weak that was a pretty strong that was a pretty long cross section too so we can pull up individual cells see what the height of these things are so as we're chasing these storms, we can use this radar to pinpoint the area we need to be. Okay, so we can pull up the models on the screen. That's what you guys are looking at now. And then we can pretty much go through that as we're storm chasing, see what the models are showing for. We'll go. We would go to like the H triple R uh, high resolution model to see what. If we had any forecast areas that we might suspect tornadoes but when you're in that situation you're actually going after them we need to be looking close to satellite and radar I guess I got to watch the control buttons when I get the internet browser open okay so we can see a lot of convection down in uh, down in the Gulf around that area so we've seen all those thunderstorms on the radar pushing up into uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, Mississippi. So all that's dying out before it gets over the coast, it looks like. So it's like a little bit of a, just a minor short wave. And then uh, that convection all the way down into the Southern Gulf. So like I said, we can pull up the radar satellite. All right, so now we can see my exact location right there where that dot is that circle so now if I travel into the storm then wherever I am on this screen we can see where the radar is a uh, tornado rotation indicated by radar and we can drive right into that area so we can start doing the chasing so so I'll go over here to the base reflectivity Pull up to KLTX. Get the latest update. And refresh that a little bit. So this is not showing the rotation. Make sure I have everything turned on. We can go 
pretty much smoothing or we can pull up the pixels to actually see every little aspect of this radar so if we go to a base velocity then we can actually see gate to gate shear and uh, see our rotation so really see not a lot going on there just rotation if you have any convective activity to the south just off the coast so we can smooth that clear that up a little bit and then uh we can do a cross section on that one and there's really nothing there so all right i won't be doing all this stuff while i'm driving what i'll be doing is um all i gotta do is i got commands here that i can i want to show you guys the satellite i do have to pull up my satellite and then um give you guys the uh view that i'm looking at so i'll have to do a little bit of clicking um maybe i can see what the shortcuts are to each window i have open if i want to go to the models let me go to if i hit these Control command, sometimes when I'm on the browser, it does uh, extra stuff over on my side too. And I don't want that to happen. So, All right now I can look at what you guys are looking at as far as models. I want to go to the radar. There's the national radar. Then we can see, okay, what area we want to go to. We can look at it, these isolated cells of convection. We can actually pull up regional radars and then uh then we can get into our actual detailed radar so we put these weather stations so um i don't know anyway there's my setup so uh let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up on this video